Uh, if you was well, I decided to get this um, old GSUS, -er, these are. Century batteries. Portalac. It's one of the many brands that GSUS -er made. This is probably marketed in the, um, being an American uh, company, Space Labs. This is their uh, version of a Century battery, which is a Century batteries we get in Australia. Made by um, GSUS. -er. There's another Century battery there, branded Bosch. Another Century there. Yeah, a difference. These old GSUS are um, Portalax are made in Japan, so back then they were made pretty good, Japanese stuff. Nowadays, all the Century, or GS, or now Century now in Australia, there's little SLAs. All the all SLA batteries, no matter where they come from, all made in China. Amazingly, despite the um, sulfation, I got one battery pack revived. I got it sitting up just to, just to catch any uh, excess um, acid. I might have. Um, Accidentally ever filled one. This thing's been on the charger all night. It's settled down now. I just put it on about five minutes ago and it stopped uh, bubbling, so it's settled down. That's been on this wall wart all night. So 24 volt got into an 18 volt battery pack because they've been drained completely flat, they've swollen and sulfated the plates. So I'm charging them. Hopefully, the um, positive plate's good and the other plate's getting stripped of sulfur. Uh, most of it's sulfation anyway. I've got another um, desulfator coming in the mail which is capable of um, batteries more than 12 volts so I could use them for these, uh, use that for these 18 volt battery packs get my proper desulfate. But that one's settled down, I could probably stand this up right now. There we go. Perfect, charging up quite well. Um, Got little, uh, what I did, I popped those little tops off. Most, pretty much, every SLA batch you've ever made, you can pop the tops off carefully, and then with little rubber caps you can pull off to actually get into the cells and refill them. I just uh, got some um, ordinary from clean water. Some, uh, I didn't have any distilled water, so I just had to use rainwater. I had no choice. I don't have any distilled water, so rainwater has, um, you can use it, but it's just got uh, minerals in it that aren't really uh, recommended to use in batteries. But it hasn't seemed to have done those other batteries there any harm. I've been using the rainwater for years, it doesn't seem to hurt batteries too much. So I put some of that in here, filled these right up, got them a good top up. Sure enough, this is revived. This one only charged 8 volts from the 12 volts. I had that jumping across the uh, desulfator here. Now we'll jump it onto that other battery pack sitting here overnight. You, you need a lot more than um, what the battery pack slated for to fully charge it. So I only had 12 volts got into an 18 volt battery pack. So yeah, the difference probably would have been the 8 volts or so. That's all it charged to. Anyway. Let's see how this other battery goes. I'm going to leave this in here one all night now. This one is going to stay on all night on this wall wart. So I'm going to put in 24 volts into that. And that'll keep it going overnight and we'll come back and check it tomorrow. This one this seems to be going pretty good. And I managed to light up this LED. Got that lit up. Didn't run that at all. Just turned this motor over on that battery pack. So there's not much colour out there, but we'll see how it goes when this diesel photo arrives. It might improve things a bit. I smeared some super glue over these cracks too. They're not completely cracked it inside, it's just the outside that's cracked. So there's no leaks. Which is good. Here we are. Charging up quite well. Hmm, good quality, Japanese quality. I thought these batteries are completely googled. Okay, it's a show. Just put some water in it and see what happens. This is just an experiment to see what would happen if I just put water in them and sure enough, they actually got them going. They're actually working. As long as um, I look inside the cells with a quick careful look with the light, and the cells look mostly intact. They had a lot of sulfation on them there. That's why they're all swollen. They're really badly sulfated. But a, a desulfator should take care of that problem. Amazingly, the bloody plates is mostly intact. There's no lead floating around in there. It's just all bloody dried out. That's one of the reasons why they died. There we are.
can't believe it. it's actually revolved, revolved these batteries. Anyway, that's my little update for now. Thanks for watching.